Hey guys, how you doing? So here's an important question. Raspberry Pi 4 or Latte Panda 3 Delta? Well, this obviously depends on what you're making, but let's discuss some points regarding this topic. First of all, let's take a look at the Raspberry Pi, for example. It's a well-known SBC that uses the Broadcom BCM2711 quad-core Cortex A72 processor, which is an ARM 8 based processor. It comes in 1GB, 2GB, 4GB or 8GB LPDDR4 SRAM variant. It has 2.4GHz and 5GHz Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5.0 with gigabit internet. As for the I.O., it has two USB 3 ports and two USB 2.0 ports, PoE enabled Ethernet port, two micro HDMI ports that each support 4K video playback, a Type-C USB connector for powering the board and one audio jack. GPIO header, camera, display ribbon, cable header and SD card reader slots are all same as the previous model. We use Raspbian OS with the Raspberry Pi which is a Debian based OS that is edited and optimized for the Raspberry Pi hardware. It is widely used and is perfect for using the Raspberry Pi to its fullest. There also exist many other OS like Debian GNU, Ubuntu, Fedora and even some game emulation OS like RecalPy or RetroPy. Or some OS that is made especially to drive machines like the famous OctoPy OS that controls and monitors the 3D printer. Raspberry Pi is one of the biggest SBC company in the maker sphere. Everyone uses it for making all kinds of stuff, from LED-based projects to robots. I even use it to prepare a couple of game consoles that uses the Recal Pi as their operating system. Now let's look at the Latte Panda 3 Delta for a moment. The Latte Panda 3 Delta is an Intel Celeron N5105 11th gen mobile quad-core processor based single board computer. Celeron processor is being used and it is an x86 processor which means it can run all sort of stuff that we can run on a regular PC. It has LDDR4 8GB RAM and even have an onboard eMMC 64GB storage that can be increased by adding an external SSD to its one of its two M2 key slots. It has Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.0 with gigabit Ethernet. It also has a microphone and headphone combo connector, which is awesome for adding an external amp setup or a microphone setup. As for the I.O., it contains two USB 3.0 generation 1 port and one USB generation 2 port, along with one Type-C port that support PD and can be used as a USB or port or a display port. It also contains an HDMI port for outputting 4096 by 2160 video at 60Hz refresh rate. Now, spec-wise, it surpasses Raspberry Pi by a lot. It even contains a co-processor, which is the Atmega 32U4, which is the same processor used on the Arduino Micro. We can use the Arduino IDE for controlling it and run all sort of stuff by connecting modules, sensor, and discrete electronic components to its given GPIO pins. Now, both of these boards excel in their respective use. For example, if I want to make a small robot that will be controlled by a PS4 controller and do some basic thing, we can use the Raspberry Pi as it is inexpensive and sufficiently powered for this task. Latte Panda can also be used here as well, but because of its super powerful processor and spec, it will be a waste to use it in this scenario. Latte Panda is perfect for the task that requires sheer processing power. For example, running a demanding game like CSGO. Here's me playing CSGO on a SBC. Back in 2015, we cannot even imagine doing this kind of stuff. Playing a proper game on a small SBC is a big feat and let me tell you this. Latte Panda can handle this game like a pro and this was totally awesome. Raspberry Pi Model 4 is awesome as well but it cannot win in a fight with the Latte Panda 3 Delta which surpasses the old champion. However, 
Raspberry Pi is still a great choice for the low spec projects. I'm even preparing a new Raspberry Pi based retro gaming console, which I will be showing you guys in few weeks. If you made it this far, then do not forget to hit that subscribe button. DF Robot reached out and provided the Latte Panda 3 Delta for the Latin Tosh project, so special thanks to them. Do check out DF Robot website for getting all kind of sensors and development mode. This is it for today folks and I will be back with a new project soon. Peace out.